The next part we need to talk about is the apron. This is the front of the carriage and this is where the hand wheels live for the bed, the main carriage itself, so we can control the movements of that with the big hand wheel. The smaller hand wheel controls the cross slide as we spoke about previously. There's also a few extra little bits and pieces here. The most notable is the big red handle to the right. Now most lathes have a very similar setup. It normally looks like this. In the case of a lever, you can either push down or pull up. Now it, it tends to feel a little bit stiff, but if you pop it out, you'll see that the machine will turn on. So if I push it down, our feed will initiate. And down is the general sort of cutting position. That means that the chuck is rotating forwards as it should do. If I lift it up, it also turns the machine on, but it reverses the direction. So if you lift it up, the chuck is spinning away from you. Uh, in most cases, when you're cutting material, you generally want the chuck driving towards you if you're working on the outside of the material. But there is cases when you will need it to go the other way. So be conscious of that. On the bottom right of the apron, we have a plunger, and this is for lubrication. Most, most machines with an apron on will have a plunger similar to this. And all that does is pushes hydraulic fluid through the gearbox and keeps everything nice and well oiled. Now, there's two um, more things to consider here, or well, three things to consider. The first one here is the drive. So, at the moment, that does nothing. But, if I have the machine on and I turn this on, you'll see that it will begin to drive the apron, the carriage, along the bed. So if I turn it on, so you see there it was driving the main hand wheel for the carriage and even when I was trying to hold it I couldn't stop it. If you really tried you could do but it's not recommended. So it, it drives the carriage with some force and this allows you to provide an even cutting force. So if you're cutting a piece of material, especially along the outside, you want to try and use a drive, something like this, because it means that you'll get a consistent feed along your material, which means you'll get a smoother finish. Uh, you've also got the screw cutting engagement on the side here. So if I turn this on, the carriage will begin to move, but you'll notice that it moves much faster. So. Now the reason for that one being different to that one is this one is used as a drive to cut material, provide smooth cuts. This is used for screw cutting. So you can see there's a thread associated with it and a similar gauge on the side here. This is all for the screw cutting. Um, we're not going to cover that in this video because it is a bit more in depth. Another item to consider is up here, this plunger hidden under there determines whether the main carriage is driven or the cross slide is driven. So with that pulled out, you'll now see the cross slide is driving. If I push it in, you'll now see the main carriage is driven instead. So they're the key tools that are in place. If this is turned on, if this is engaged, you cannot drive the handwheel. You need to disengage it and then you can drive the machine as required. 